After a recent crackdown on day spas for illicit activities, some local lawmakers are taking action to stop more from opening up shop here in the borough. Our Kenna Vernon is in Bay Ridge with the story. Recently, 12 massage parlors in the Bay Ridge area, like Shirley Day Spa, were forced to close after an investigation by the district attorney's office found some customers were getting more than just massages. State Senator Marty Golden says there are more in the area that need to be shut down. This is about the illegal activity of 30 plus day spas that are spread out between here and Bensonhurst. That's why he and Assemblywoman Nicole Maliotakis created new legislation aimed at ensuring these so called day spas spas provide just the standard services, not prostitution. This package would really help crack down on these establishments that have been shut down, being able to reopen, being able to obtain licenses. Parts of the bill call for regulating operation hours that would prohibit work from midnight to five in the morning, closing spas with excessive noise, and also closing if the owner is convicted of a felony. As soon as you see one of them close down, as soon as you see that string of arrests going out, all of a sudden, they're not opening up. And some residents we spoke to say they hope the new legislation helps us shut down more. Any toughening of the laws that uh, occur is a good thing. Um, enforcement is really the key. I hope so because um, you know, the children live in here and you know, what, what, what would that do to the neighborhood? You know? The new legislation will be introduced in the state legislature in January. In Bay Ridge, Kenna Vernon News 12, Brooklyn.